Welcome, stranger. Name's Halleck, and it's a pleasure meeting you. I run this little shop. Got enough supplies here to keep you alive and fighting. Rage at its core is a first-person shooter. These other elements like racing and vehicle combat, they're additive to the experience. But it's important not to get confused by really what we do. We're id, we make first-person games, you know, when you pick up the shotgun and you shoot a bad guy, you know what to expect. So in Rage, what we've tried to do is in every new environment that you enter, we give you a new weapon or a new ammo type or a new engineering item to keep the experience fresh. And as you play through the game, your arsenal grows and grows. It's a few different elements that really make a weapon good or satisfying. When you hit the fire button, it needs to do something on the other end. And that's where you get the feedback from blowing a head off or seeing a cool death animation. You know, I've always loved shotguns in all of the id games, especially. I think if we didn't have a shotgun, a lot of fans would be upset. But the crossbow, because it's so different and so new, it's almost like this utility weapon. My favorite weapon in Rage is the wing stick. Let me guess, you want to know how to throw a wing stick. The wing stick is an offhand, instant throw weapon. The wing stick is such an iconic weapon. It's this bladed death boomerang, and it has like a smart nano targeting core, is some of the mythos that we've built into it. And if you time it right, you can chop the heads off of mutants with it. We have these things we call gadgets or engineering items. Things like a little remote control car with a bomb attached to it. Now you're building this little defense turret. If you have the parts and you have the plans to build it, you can build these anywhere in the world. So now you're running around, you're firing, and instead of just tossing a grater and just throwing the wing stick, you're tossing down a little defense turret. And we have other more complex engineering items as you progress through the game, things like sentry bots that are automated robots that shoot all your enemies for you. If you utilize some of the other gadgetry items, you can make it a thinking man's game. But it doesn't stray too far from our core mechanics. It's one button. It all follows the same principle. I pay nicely for quality goods. There is an economy. And when people first think about the economy, they think RPG. But the economy is really your tool to manipulate how you want to play the game. It really is this player choice mechanic. So if you're picking up this cash and these other cool items, then you sell it and you pick which ammo you want to buy. When you get these new things, you'll want to try it out. And when you do, you learn how that impacts you as the player and how you want to approach the situation. But at every step of the way, we never want the inventory to get in the way. It's there for a reason. It always has a purpose. But we still want to stay true to that kind of action. The world in Rage is about survival and all the elements that the player will need to succeed in surviving. It's up to them how they want to use those gadgets, weapons, and ammo types, along with the action shooter experience role that we intend for the player to take. We create these different options in the gameplay when you get into an area with all these various implements of death. Or, you know, you may not want to have any strategy. You just may want to kick in the door, pull out your big shotgun, and start blasting away at the bad guys. We really give players the opportunity to engage the enemy AI in the way that's best for them. And we feel that that adds a lot of life and replayability to the game.